to Happiness is Healthy. It's Stephanie, your happiness enhancer. And today, I thought we'd talk about a relationship tip. Yeah, how do we get along with each other, whether we're friend or lover or family? Yeah, or at work. We need to be able to get along with people so we can have a good life. Yeah. I love to be able to get along with people. It's one of my goals. I practice remembering their names so that when I meet them, they feel good. Because most people are having a really hard time. They're really scared, and a lot of them are really angry because somebody wasn't nice to them in their past, or maybe somebody died. And so, and, and then when someone dies that you love, it breaks your heart, and then you think about your own dying, and that's kind of boring, thinking about your own dying. So anyways, I just realized that most people could be having a really a bad day. So I try my best to either take a rock out of, their, out of their bag, or at least don't add a rock into their bag. Yeah, because we all have bags of um, baggage, bags of baggage <laughs> that we're carrying around. Yeah, from our past. So I just try to love everyone who I meet and to help relationships. I think that we can um, cooperation, right? When I see someone who's needing a hand, whether it's an open door or if Robert's walking in with a whole bunch of stuff carrying in and I can see him coming, I run up and open the door for him and try to make life easier, right? I think that's what it's about. How can we help each other to have an easier life? Like the flowers grow, and then they smell good, and that gives me an easier life. I think we're all here to give each other an easier life. And, you know, relationship tips, you know, are, it's just important to think about the other person and realize that they're a good person and that they're doing their best, just like you're doing your best. No matter what they're doing. My ex-husband, even when he was hitting me, and slapping me, that was still his best, right? Because he had a very abusive childhood. So I just tried to be understanding and patient. Because patience is free, you know? Yeah, I love that. That I could just exercise my patience muscles. And that helps me have a better relationship. And to walk a mile in my partner's shoes, or the person who I'm thinking of, or the person who I have a resentment towards, and just look at whatever my part was in the relationship and see what I could do to admit what I did and then move forward. Because when I have frustration or anger or um, upsetness in general, my blood pressure goes up and I make more the bad chemicals. Cortisol. Yeah, you don't want to make cortisol. No, that's not good for you. That makes you have aches and pains. I want to make oxytocin and dopamine and serotonin. Those are all the feel-good chemicals. And I figure how I make those chemicals is by being nice and thoughtful. Mm -hmm. The more I could think about everybody and myself, too. I have to include myself. Anyways, yeah. So relationship is just to try and be understanding and to think about the other person and what they need, too. Yeah, so I hope you're having a great day, and be patient with your loved ones. It's more fun that way. Bye!